Real Neat, you guys, is so simple, no heat hairstyle, but very high impact. So you could even wear it for a night out. I mean, I think it's really pretty. So all you're going to need is a teaser comb, a hair tie. I have a thin one, but you can use whichever kind you want. And some bobby pins. Yep, that's it. You guessed it. Oh, of course, hairspray. Of course. Dry shampoo if you need it. Oh! <laughs> happens to me every time. It slips off easy. And da 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 da. I would, I'm gonna suggest this, but of course it can be done without it, I think, but it's a smooth and seal. And the reason I'm suggesting this by Smooth Sexy Hair is because we're doing a Kate look. So she always has just really pretty shiny hair. So I just figured, you know, we gotta try to do that somehow. So I'm actually gonna start with it. Spray over unruly hair to enhance shine, eliminate frizz, and protect styles. Sounds good, right? I mean, my style's not there yet, but... Okay, so let's get started. What you're gonna do is separate your hair or part your hair from behind the ear all the way up. Doesn't have to be exactly perfect, although mine looks pretty straight. <laughs> um, and then do the other side. And then hold these hair, these hairs, these hairs out. Now you're gonna deal, if you want you can clip them with a little duck bill. just to keep them out of your way. Okay, so you're gonna want a little bit of volume. Grab your teaser comb. We're gonna start at the top. The best way to tease your hair is process of dry shampoo, tease, hairspray. That's if you want some mad volume. So why the heck not, right? I already have some dry shampoo in my hair, so I'm just gonna tease. And give myself a little spritz. Coming out. see the very lower part of your hair is not that important to get super teased or teased at all okay so with that going to smooth it out I would suggest using the comb but not combing through it just kind of like the top or if you have a brush that works too with bristles um, this side of the comb also works and then you're gonna go ahead and take your elastic to make sure it's not very frizzy because you want the obviously you want the tees under excuse me you want the tees underneath and the top smooth so okay so you'll do a ponytail a normal ponytail, except on the last loop, you pull it halfway through like a half bun type thing. And then spread out your bun and make it poofy as possible. So because this is gonna be the base of it and the lower part of your look. And then take the hairs that were left out from the ponytail, twist them around and pin them on either side. Okay, so hang with me here. I'm gonna speed up the video in a second, but I wanted to slow down for right now to show you where I get it. So you see how you have this big chunk of hair. You're gonna go on the top and pull the top section, that's where you're gonna start. Pull it back and kind of a little twist, not tight, and loosely pin it 
over the top of what you have going on under there, what the, the thing you just completed. And I totally understand that my dark hair does not lend well to seeing how this is done, which kind of stinks and I apologize, but I don't look good blonde, trust me. So same thing on the other side, you take it from the top and the reason you want to start at the top is because of the way that it twists and the way that the twists look all together, I think is really cute and put together. So then you're going to move down from there. After you've taken the top section, you're going to take the next bottom one down right here. I'm going to do it in a second in the front. So it's like down in the front. Those bangs are going to fall out just because they always do. But you're basically twisting, pinning, twisting, pinning, twisting, and pinning. And now for the last bottom section, and you can cover your ears or let them out. If you have an ear issue like I do, <laughs> you want to cover them for some reason. I Well, not for some reason. I know exactly why, but I hate my ears. And here's the other section going back. Now, don't worry about all the little flyaways and all that. You're going to put that all together at the end. And I think you can kind of see how the twists are looking. See how the twists are looking really pretty, though? And the bun. I know it looks messy right now, but... Trust me, trust me, we'll put it together, okay? Promise. So you're just gonna twist it back over and tuck it in. Take the other side. You can do them together if you'd like, like all the twisties together and twist them so that they stay. Twist it back over and then pin it up underneath the twist that you already have going on. And now the issue is what's hanging out of the bun that we created. So I think with those you just need um, a few body bobby excuse me <laughs> a few bobby pins to take them and tuck them back up under and secure them to the rest of the ponytail so they're not hanging out and that my friends is pretty much it i'm just going to tuck in all the stray hairs fluff it up the top a bit put it all together and wham bam you are done done this is it i'm going to go ahead and spray with my shine to get that Kate look and then my hairspray to really hold it in and then I'll, don't worry I'm gonna show you the back so my bangs are kind of just blah but I'm just gonna leave them to the side here I like that these are coming out and here's the back What do you think? We did it! A no heat hairstyle of Kate Middleton. I think that's a pretty good job. So I hope you give it a try because as you saw, it was it's relatively easy and like I said, no heat. So thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you. Have a great day.